Now to the Finance Minister who joins us from Perth this morning. Thanks so much for your time, Matthias Corman. You're working on Good a morning. stimulus package at the moment. Is the purpose of it to avoid recession? Well, the purpose of it uh, is uh, to ensure that uh, we can keep business uh, in business and uh, keep uh, Australians in their jobs. And obviously, uh, you know, we, we are going to enter a, a pretty challenging period, both from a public health and, and from an economic point of view. But we also know that on the other side, uh, there will be a strong recovery. And we want to ensure that we put Australia in the strongest possible position to maximise the strength of the recovery on the other side of the challenging period we're about to enter into. Treasury yesterday outlined a 0.7% hit to the GDP in the June quarter. Is that about what you were expecting? Uh, well, you know, obviously we take advice on these things. I mean, the Treasury Secretary yesterday um, indicated, uh, consistent with what the RBI Deputy Governor told Senate estimates on Wednesday night, a 0.5% uh, hit uh, to the uh, March quarter. Uh, you know, we, we are obviously, uh, you know, working our way through how we can uh, ensure that through this challenging period ahead of us and, and beyond, mm. uh, we put ourselves into the strongest possible position. I mean, it is, it is uh, important to note that what the December national accounts showed, that the fundamentals of the yeah. Australian economy are sound. Economic growth was strengthening. Employment growth remained very strong. Uh, we had the strongest growth in disposable income uh, in the six months, the last six months of 2019. Uh, in uh, five and a half years. So mm. things fundamentally were heading in the right direction, but this is, this is an economic shock. This is an event uh, beyond our control that we will have to deal with, and, and we are making judgments to put ourselves in the best possible position. A 0.7% hit to GDP doesn't mean much to most people. So can you give us an idea of what that might mean in dollar terms? Is it in the order of $10 billion in terms of a hit to the economy, or is it more? Do you need to spend around that? Uh, well, well, look, I mean, this is all other things being equal, and we, we're obviously making decisions to ensure that uh, we keep the economy growing uh, and that we uh, put ourselves in the best possible mm. position for the strongest possible recovery on the other side. Now, you know, we, we are... We are making judgments to, uh, you know, and we will be uh, providing stimulus through the short term, but while keeping uh, a very careful eye on the long term structural health and sustainability of our budget position, nevertheless. And um, mm. I mean, these are, these are the judgments that we will be uh, making over the next uh, little while. And, and I mean, people should expect an announcement uh, in relation to a, a stimulus package well before uh, budget time. Well before budget time, does this mean we're looking at the June quarter now, you, you have this ready to roll well before the 1st of April? Uh, we, we would uh, expect to be making uh, relevant announcements in the next uh, few weeks. Okay. Business will be the focus as you've outlined. What is the best way to keep cash flowing and stimulate the economy? We've seen a lot of ideas thrown up, a lot of things the Treasurer has confirmed that the government is looking at. What is the best way to get that money out as quickly as possible? Well, in the end, you've got to consider what uh, the problem is that we're dealing with. And because of the uh, level of uh, uncertainty and anxiety uh, you know, generated by uh, the uh, risk of the coronavirus spreading, uh, one of the effects uh, you know, is obviously an impact in, uh, on investment. Uh, in investment uh, needed to be boosted in any event, but this mm. coronavirus um, uh, economic shock uh, will have a further downward effect on, on business investment. So we, we really do need to uh, find ways to incentivize business uh, to uh, bring forward investment decisions in anticipation of a strong recovery on the other side yeah. uh, of uh, the challenging period we're about to go into. And so whatever we can do to unlock business investment, to keep mm. uh, business in business, to ensure that business keeps Australians in jobs uh, as we go through this period, I mean, th these are the sorts of things uh, th that we obviously got to uh, very much uh, focus on. Yeah, it's about keeping people spending as well. Economists are saying perhaps a, a one-off increase to the new start allowance might be a good way to get cash flowing in the economy. Is that yeah. on the cards? Uh, look, no, we, we're not. I'm, I'm not going to start speculating here on what uh, we will and uh, won't do. What I, what I will say uh, is uh, our, our focus is on uh, making sure that uh, business uh, remains in business, mm. that business uh, keeps uh, Australians uh, in jobs, and, and indeed we want to ensure that uh, you know the. Uh, invest that we bring forward investment that will help us uh, strengthen 
uh, growth beyond yeah. this period. And uh, you know, beyond that, what, what other measures might sensibly be able to be pursued? I mean, these are matters for discussion uh, you know, over the next few days and weeks. Uh, fair enough. So business the focus here. Will there be any relief for individuals? Uh, well, again, I'm not going to go through a shopping list of measures. I mean, we're talking, uh, we're taking advice, we're discussing these matters, uh, you know, with Treasury Finance. Uh, we've had a discussion earlier this week uh, with the uh, Governor and Deputy Governor of the RBI. Yeah. Uh, we've had the Deputy Prime Minister right to state and territory governments to uh, identify any uh, infrastructure projects that we might be able to get cracking on mm. uh, swiftly. So, I mean, look, across the board, we are assessing. Uh, what, what needs to be done. We're looking for opportunities to make uh, targeted, uh, responsible, scalable interventions uh, to uh, you know, obviously support the economy through this period. Don't expect checks in the mail though. Uh, we will not be uh, pursuing a cash splash uh, in the uh, sort of reckless uh, Rudd Gillard fashion, no. You did vote for it during the GFC. Your side of politics? Uh, no, well, that is, that is, I think that that is a rewriting of history. We uh, supported the initial first phase and quite proportionate mm. uh, stimulus package. We were uh, very concerned and uh, totally opposed to the uh, major uh, reckless cash splash that followed. Okay, well, how big is the budget deficit going to be now? Uh, look, I mean, you know, the half yearly budget update in December showed a $5 billion surplus for uh, the 2019-20 um, uh, financial year. Um, the next update in terms of the fiscal position for 2019-20 and the forward estimates will be the budget on the second Tuesday in May. Uh, clearly, uh, there's been an impact already uh, in terms of revenue. Uh, there will likely be an impact on the spending side of the budget both because of what's happening in the economy and because of policy decisions mm. uh, that, we, that we are making. But you know, what precisely those numbers will be, uh, that will be updated and reconciled in the budget. What are the new mugs going to say? Sorry? What are the new mugs going to say? Back in black was um, the last budget. What's it going to be this time around? Well, you know, well, we were, we were, we were, of course, uh, back uh, in the black when we released the budget in uh, tw in uh, April mm. 2019. And let me say, I mean, you know, if we had not uh, done the hard yards to repair the budget mess we inherited, if we had not done the hard yards yeah. over the last uh, six and a half years, we would be going into this uh, challenging period in a much weaker position. Uh, we are going into this period in a much stronger position because of the hard work that we've put in uh, to ensure that spending growth uh, was brought under control, okay. uh, to ensure that we brought the budget back into balance in 2018-19 and indeed um, that we had a, a, a projected a forecast uh, surplus position over the forward estimates and, and the medium term. So uh, this, is a, this is an external economic shock. It is something that um, happened beyond our control, but we, we are dealing with it and we're in a better position okay. to deal with it because of the work that we've done. Well, I hope Scott Cam's stimulating the economy. He gets paid more than you, it occurred to me this morning, and he hasn't made one public appearance in six months. Are you jealous? Uh, uh, look, um, I mean, obviously I want uh, to see him uh, do uh, the job uh, that uh, you know, he was contracted to do. It's a very important uh, area. We want him to inspire young people. Uh, to pursue uh, you know, apprenticeships and, and, and uh, careers in the trades. Uh, so um, I'm sure that he will uh, work very hard. Matthias Coleman, thank you. Live from Perth this morning. Always good to talk to you.